Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. This is Hani Ismail, and I am very happy to announce our new construction cost control basic course. This course is sponsored by Planning Engineer Establishment for the new website Engineer Book. Whoever don't know the Engineer Book website, it is a social platform with mobile applications to connect engineers together. It is something like Facebook, but in a professional way and just for engineers. Okay, this course will be practical and it represent my point of view. So you may agree or disagree with me, but this is how I see cost control in construction projects. You are very welcome to comment and join the cost control group in engineer book dot net website and let's start informative discussion about each topic of this course the course will consist uh, a very uh, simple case study but very practical concept of cost control so my idea here is to give you the essential information to know the cost control and implement immediately in a simple case study. We'll start lesson 1.1 in this course. We have in section one in the cost control course, the cost control general view and definitions. We have four lessons in this section. This video will concentrate in the first section which is what is cost control in construction projects. There are three sections where we'll follow with three other videos uh, and we'll discuss them in their videos. So what is cost control in construction projects? From its name, cost control is the process of monitoring and controlling the actual cost of any construction project. Project cost control includes monitoring the cost performance, ensuring that only authorized project changes are included in the revised cost baseline, informing project stakeholders of potential impacts to the project that will affect costs. This is a theoretical definition of cost control from my point of view. However, I used to prepare uh, many courses in planning and project management and all my courses are practical. So while we are giving you some theoretical information and definitions, we will discuss how we can implement our, or how it looks like in our real projects. Let me give you one example here. The cost control will not allow any activity in the project to be completed over budget without knowing it from the beginning. In other words, cost control is high alarm, high level alarm will alarm the project team that something is going wrong before it happens or during it happening and of course after it happens which is the most weak point to monitor and control construction projects the difference between cost control in uh, uh, in the planning and the controlling area and what the accountant or the account department are doing when the project finished that the account department can give you whether or not the project uh, completed on budget but after an item 100% completed or after even the whole project is completed while the cost control give you alarms from day one and in the course lesson we'll discuss this and how you can simply do it by yourself I know there are a lot of complicated softwares and concepts of construction projects cost control but in this course we'll only discuss applicable simple yet effective solutions so AVM or earned value management is 
cost control right or wrong in my opinion the EVM or the earned value management has nothing to do with the cost control the earned value management is not part of cost control process you may now disagree with me but let me explain the, my point of view the earned value management uses terms such as planned value and earned value for monitoring the project progress and its status not for controlling the actual costs the earned value management will never tell you what is the actual cost of an item with its standard definitions and methodology i know there is a term called actual cost in evm but try to implement it in a construction project there is no way to tell you how to implement it therefore the cost control uses terms like actual cost and when i say cost control actual cost i'm going to tell you how to estimate and calculate this actual cost not only giving you theoretical data cost control also uses a term called budgeted cost and we'll know the differences between evm and cost control in a minute so EVM is a project performance measurement technique that converts progress into money to measure it. As all of you know, when you com compare two things, you need to compare apple to apple. It means you need to convert all your progress into similar uh, uh, term or similar uh, condition of comparison. So EVM uses the money as a term or as a condition of comparison but this is not the case in the cost control let's see what cost control and what is EVM when it comes to the planned money EVM uses the term planned value the planned value is the value of planned works by its selling price or BOQ rates bill of quantity rates so the planned value which uses which we are using it uh, very common in EVM only focus on the planned amount according to the selling price or the BOQ rates in the other hand cost control uses the term planned cost regardless of the planned work planned cost is the money should be spent in the work done let's say you executed 100 cubic meter of reinforced concrete the planned value will be the value of this 100 cub cubic meter uh, according to your contract prices or bill of quantity prices where the planned cost is the planned money you should spend according to your baseline cost baseline to execute this 100 cubic meter when it comes to the actual money the EVM or earned value management management uses the term earned value the value of the executed work by its selling price or the BOQ work this is what you earn it what you are going to get in your invoice or payment certificate this is the earned value where the actual cost is the actual money the company paid to execute the work done so these are the main differences between cost control and EVM and when we go further in this course you will find that the cost control is not similar to the EVM and there are different concepts and different methodology to manage cost rather than the EVM known methodologies so the cost what are the costs we have two type of costs direct cost and indirect cost direct cost the amount of money spent directly to complete the work like material labor equipment whatever required to complete an activity on the other hand indirect cost are the amount of money spent to support the completion of the work like the head office fees engineers salary site security etc so you cannot put this indirect cost 
and load it in one activity. Uh, in construction projects, this indirect cost, usually it is a percentage from your budget. Let's say 10% from the contract value should be spent in the direct or indirect cost, sorry. But the remaining 90% should be spent on direct cost. We have another uh, uh, types of the cost, variable cost and fixed cost. Variable cost is the cost that it changes according to the work size, like material cost, labor cost, etc. The fixed cost, cost not it change according to the work size, like site security cost. So uh, this is the types of costs. This is just general information I want to give you in the first lesson in our course because we may use some or all of them in our next videos so you know what we are talking about let's talk about some general definitions here and uh, uh, forgive me because this uh, video will be only theoretical and academic and we are trying to give you examples as we can but the discussion is open and you can comment in this lesson page tell me what you think and we can of course add or omit from whatever we are uh, saying according to the conclusion we can reach during the discussion so the selling price what i mean by the selling price Selling price is amount of money paid or gained when exact work executed in the project. For example, if we executed billing concrete and uh, it equals to 250 US dollar in the bill of quantity, it means the contractor will be paid or will gain 250 US dollar for each unit of billing concrete. The employer or the client will pay 250 US dollar for every one unit of plain concrete executed. So in simple words, selling price is the price in your bill of quantity. And this is not the actual cost. Second term or definition I want to discuss with you is low labor productivity rates. The productivity rate is the required hours for each labor resource to complete one unit of the activity or bill of quantity item. For example, if we say the carpenter rate is 2.5, what this mean? This means the carpenter needs 2.5 hours to complete one unit of the concrete works. So 2.5 is the productivity rate hours per unit. Materials rate, the project needed materials for completing one unit of any project BOQ item or activity. For example, if we say the cement rates in the RC footing is 350, this means we need 350 kilograms for the cement to complete one meter cube from the RC footing item in the BOQ. And we are not going to go deeply in the material rates in this uh, course because it is basic but you will know the concept and you will know what the definitions you should know what are the definitions and we have here also some uh, definitions used a lot in the cost control like profits what are the profits the profits are th simply income minus actual cost full stop there are a lot of explanation and definitions, complicated definitions for profits, but I use a very simple one because this is basic course and I want you to understand very easily. The profit margin. What is a profit margin? It's the ratio of the profits to income. So if my profits is 10 and the income is 100, so my profit mar margin is 10%. What I mean by income here is the selling price, what we, are to, what we talked about earlier, what I'm going to gain in my payment certificate or my invoice. Life cycle costing, this is considering the total cost of ownership or development plus support cost for a project. It means in a simple word, total money to be spent in order to complete an activity or a project or whatever. 
The cash flow analysis. This is to determine the estimated annually or monthly cost and income for a project and the result annual and or month cash flow. So this definition looks like a little bit complicated if you are a, a beginner, but when you see it, when you are working on Excel, you will find how easy it is. All whatever I said, it is very easy when it comes to the implementation of construction project case study. But this video is important to do because you, you will refresh your memory or you will know some new uh, information which will help you a lot to understand what we are doing in the case study. The planned cost is the total of direct and indirect costs planned to be incurred in accomplishing work on an activity during a given a given period in another words how much you are going to spend in this activity to finish it the actual cost as you can see formally called the actual cost of work performance at ACWB a total of direct and indirect cost incurred in accomplishing work on activity during a given period in a simple word what actually you spent so the planned cost in the cost control course and what we're going to use here, don't refer to the planned cost of the EVM. Planned cost here is the cost we are planning to spend on an activity according to our cost control baseline. The actual cost is what we actually spent to execute the works. When we know the planned cost and actual cost, then we can say the status of our project. The status of our project could be one of three. Above budget, the project expended costs are more than planned cost. In a simple word, actual cost greater than planned cost. If the actual cost is greater than planned cost, it means we are above budget. Below budget, the project expended costs are less than planned costs. In simple word, actual costs less than planned costs. On budget, which is a little bit rare happening in the construction projects, but the project expended costs are equal to the planned cost. Simple words, actual cost equal planned cost. I hope you find the first lesson easy. You can repeat it, you can watch it again, and what, what I want to say right now is in this course, we are going to do a complete case study and a complete cost control with reports, but simple way. Simple yet effective. I hope you uh, give me your comments there will be a, a, a separate page for each lesson in uh, engineer book website where you can see what other uh, colleagues say about this lesson how they think what is the uh, the conclusion they understand and also you will come to put your feedback recommendations or even if you have any questions you will come to ask there thank you very much see you in the next lesson